the airports authority of india successfully conducted a light trial using the gagan satellite navigation system for the landing of an atr 72 aircraft belonging to indigo at the kishangarh airport in rajasthan last week gagan is a system jointly developed by the airports authority of india and the indian space research organization in collaboration with us defense contractor raytheon at an estimated cost of 774 crore rupees it provides a very accurate and high level of satellite signals for precision air navigation over the entire indian airspace with the capability of expanding to nearby regions it is capable of providing navigation services for departure en route and landing operations to equipped planes the dgca had issued a mandate directing that all aircraft registered in india after july 1 2021 to be fitted with gagan equipment simply speaking gagan is a satellite based augmentation system or sbas which is a regional network of ground stations and satellites that provide gps signal corrections giving a better position accuracy gps is the most prevalent global navigation satellite system or gnss and is owned by the us government gagan is the fourth such sbas system that has been operationalized after the uss waas European Union's EGNOS and Japan's MSAS and it is interoperable with the other 3. It consists of 15 earth-based reference stations, two master control centers, three land uplink stations and three geostationary satellites. The reference stations gather GPS satellite data and the master control centers collect data from the reference stations and create GPS correction messages. Through this errors caused by ionospheric disturbances satellite orbit errors and inaccurate clocks are corrected and through the uplink stations the corrected messages are sent to the geostationary satellites which then broadcast them to the aircraft india is the first country in the asia pacific region to trial indigenous sbas for landing uh, this is a uh, satellite based augmentation system with uh, lpv approaches which is near precision approach uh, which help airports not uh, they don't require any separate navigation aids they can get both the lateral as well as the azimuth as well as the vertical guidance to land at the airport uh, which means a single system uh, open opening up a gateway for all the airports to have practically what's called even uh, low visibility procedures ground based navigation system is already available in major airports so none of them will be removed out of the system it's a question of giving multiple opportunities suppose a ground based augmentation or ground based systems is not available at a particular given time or has gone on maintenance or something like that still a satellite based system can function at that airport and allow your landings and takeoffs to take place safely you will not expect it to uh, go for a diversion so naturally there's a fuel uh, uh, cost to it or operational efficiency will increase with the opportunity of landing or take or landing being carried out which is a critical phase even in under adverse conditions and second benefit is on all those smaller airports we talk about udan airports where which is naturally we are talking about cost effectiveness of the airport management itself i we don't need to put the uh, costly navigation aids and uh, there are other restrictions terrain restrictions and others are there so now now one one system like gagan serves all these airports effectively the advantage would be the cost of uh, the flight or cost of operations at udan airports would be lower but only things in all these airports there is a process which is which is which is not a plug and play type of a mechanism it needs training it needs a procedure design to be tested validated gagan it needs a certain type of equipage older generation aircraft needs to be what you call retrofit right gagan will help airports which are currently devoid of precision approach capability equipment and have higher visibility requirements it will reduce flight delays save fuel and improve flight safety now aircraft will be able to land at airports not equipped with expensive instrument landing systems which include many small regional airports At present Indigo SpiceJet Air India Go First and Air Asia India have aircraft that are capable of carrying out these satellite based procedures As Gagan's footprint expands from Africa to Australia India is in a position to offer its service to neighboring countries Though primarily meant for aviation Gagan's capabilities can be utilized in many other user segments 
such as intelligent transportation, maritime, highways, railways, surveying and the telecom industry. Gagan message service can relay alerts to deep sea fishermen, farmers and disaster affected people at the time of natural calamities. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.